Now, when you're building an application, there may be a time where you want to have a different layout for a particular page. Now, say, for example, on the left, we have our main pages where we have a navigation, our content and our footer. And we can think of the content as the Nuxt page and then the navigation and footer on all of our pages. So say, for example, we want to have our login page not have the navigation and the footer. So if we were using view, then we would have to probably get the route that we're on and we have to use some conditional rendering to not show the navigation or footer if it is that particular route. Now with Nux, this gets a little bit easier because we're introduced to something called the layouts. And layouts are gonna simplify this process where we don't have to do any conditional rendering. We can just define what layout we want for that particular page. Now to set up layouts, what we wanna do is we want to wrap our Nux page inside of the Nux layout components. So what we can do is highlight this and we can use Emmet wrap with abbreviation and we can say Nux layout like this to wrap our Nux page inside of the Nux layout component. And then inside of our app folder, we want to create a new folder for our layouts. So we'll do new folder and we'll call this layouts and we want to have a default layout. So inside of our layouts folder, we can create a new file and we'll just call this default dot view. And then within here, we can just use our vbase syntax to create our view boilerplate. So we'll say vbase three setups. So we can just remove the style tag and then we can save that. And again, like I said, I like to have the script tag above my template. And then within this div, what we want to do is we want to pass a slot. Now, the reason why we want to do this is because essentially what happens is this Nux page becomes the slotted content for our layout. And inside of our default layout, if we just add an H1 and we say default layout like this, and we save that, if we head over to the application, you can see we're gonna see that text of default layout. So how layouts work, if you don't define a layout for a particular page, then it's going to default to our default layout by default. Now, for example, if we had a different layout, so if we go into our layouts folder and we create one and we can just call this login.view because that was kind of the example we were looking at, and then we can create our template. And within our login layout, remember we want to pass our slot so that it can get the page content. And again, just to demonstrate how this works, we can add an H1 and we can just do login layout like this. And here inside of our index.view, which is our main page that we have to set a different layout other than the default, what we can do is we can use a macro that is provided to us by Nux called the find page meta. And this accepts an object. And if we define a layout property, we can define the name of the layout. So in this case, we either have our default or we can use our login. So if we set this to login and we save that and head over to the application and we refresh this, you can now see that instead of using the default layout, we're now using the login layout. And circling back to the example that we had at the beginning of this lesson, hopefully you can see how layouts can be used. So for example, the one we had on the left could be considered our default layout. And then the one on the right can be considered our login layout. So we can easily display different types of components or different types of text or content within these layouts. And we can change them really easily by using the define page meta macro and defining the layout that we want. But remember, if you don't define this define page meta macro with a layout, it's going to use the default layout by default.